In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a custom snap code so you can put any photo, any graphic you want inside of your snap code that you can use on all your social media. You can use it as your avatar. You can see the one on the left is just a screen grab for my iPhone that I was using for putting on social media and stuff. The one on the right is a high resolution image of any graphic that I want in the middle. That happens to be my avatar that I use for all my branding. Not possible to do on your app, but I'm going to show you how to do it here inside of Photoshop. What you want to do is log into Snapchat.com using your username and password from the app. You're going to go down to the bottom to the community section and click on snap codes. Here you have two choices. You want to choose the first one, download snap code. The second one is if your snap code to get spammed or something, you can create a new one. Your snap code is unique to you. Those little dots, that's like a QR code with your information on it. So don't ever mess with the dots or the out actual graphic itself. But the ghost in the middle, that can be knocked out and a graphic can be put in there, anything you want. So let's go ahead and download the snap code. It's going to do a little file with three, a folder with three files in it. The first one is an SVG file that can be used to, you can use it in Adobe Illustrator. The second one is a PNG file. That is the one we are going to use inside of Photoshop. The third one, I recommend you taking a look at this. This is the snap code guidelines. If you've never looked at branding guidelines before, they're very interesting. It basically tells you how the logo is made, the colors that are used, how you can and can't use it, the sizing. I find these very fascinating. And one of the things it does say that you can change the color of the yellow as long as it's a high contrast color. So you want to make sure that it can scan. I'm going to keep mine the, the yellow, but I will show you how to change the color just in case you want to change it for your brand. So let's go ahead and open this PNG file up in folder Photoshop. Here you can see that it's a transparent layer. You can see there's no, no background. And what we're going to do is create a layer below that by hitting the command and new layer button. And we're also going to knock out the middle. I'm going to use a mask to knock out the middle. And I'm going to first select the magic wand key. You can do that by hitting W. If it doesn't go, just hit Shift W to scroll through the, the tools there. We're going to click the magic wand right in the middle. That is going to make a selection of the ghost. Okay. Now I'm going to click the mask button and watch what happens. Okay. That's the wrong way, right? Let's undo that by hitting Command Z. Hold the Option key down and then click the mask button. That will knock out the center. All that did was just inverse the mask. Okay, now we want to add a graphic to it. So I'm going to go to the libraries inside of Photoshop where I store all of my graphics. And I'm going to choose this fo photo right here. I'm going to hold the Shift and Option key so I can expand it proportionately. You can see here that it went on the wrong layer, so I'm just going to drag it below. Now I'm just going to tap the V key and move it around until I get it right. I want my headphones, my head centered, and I want my logo here on my shirt to be in view. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm nice and centered. However, you can see here that there's, there's a little bit of the photo coming out, so we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that by hitting Command and clicking on the mask of the ghost up here. And you can see that makes a selection. Now the selection is in the wrong, the wrong way. We want it in the middle. So what I'm going to do is select inverse, or you can do shift command I, and that's going to make a selection on the inside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do a mask right here. On the photo layer, I'm going to do a mask, and we watch that disappears. I'm noticing here a little fringe around the photo, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is undo. Command Z. I'm going to make that selection is still active. And what I'm going to do is expand the selection by doing modify, expand. I'll expand it by 10. Doesn't really matter if it goes outside in the yellow. So that's going to give me some room. Now I'm going to cl click the layer mask again. The fringe is gone and my photo is cleaned up. Now that is how you do the custom code. You can put anything you want in here. It doesn't matter what what you're putting there. So if I wanted to put my, maybe I wanted to put my letter M in there instead, that will still work. Whatever I wanted, whatever I want to put inside of that ghost will work. So use your, you know, put your custom brand in there. 
If you want to change the color, there's an easy way to do that. I would use the magic wand tool again. Just click on the yellow because there's it's so contrasty that it's going to pick it up. And then I might use a hue saturation layer. Click on the colorize. Bump up the saturation and change the color however you want. So you can have fun with that, but I'm going to keep mine the yellow. And there you have how you make a custom. I'm going to export it as a PNG file. So it's no background. I'll keep it at the 1024. I'm going to export it. Mike's custom snap code. And there you have a really high resolution, nice looking snap code that you can use on social media, on your website, anywhere you want to use a snap code. Have fun with it. Cheers.